right, I got the tape rolling and everybody is here, so let's get started. This is the last meeting of our journalism club Yay! to discuss the last issue of the school year. And for some of us seniors, myself included, this is the last chance to write for our beloved Ewan High School Press. Thank goodness for small things. All right, so let's start brainstorming headlines. We all know that prom night is going to be the big story, but what is our angle going to be? So the theme is springtime in Venice. Not sure what we can do with that, but a little bird told me that our very own Myra is going to be one of the nominees to the queen of the prom. Uh -huh. That means we might be sitting among royalty, everybody. How do you know who's nominated? What do you mean, how do I know? I just know these things. I'm the president of the journalism club. So, Myra, if you could, in between dance numbers, maybe interview some of the people, or better yet, in advance, maybe talk to some of the people on the decorating committee. Definitely Ms. Greer. All right. Vic Mooney, maybe, get the class president's take on this. And isn't Sue Snell on the decorating committee now? What's the scoop on that? She's your friend. I thought she was going out with Tommy Ross. They're not anymore. Really? They're not? Well, then who is he taking to prom? Carrie White. Carrie White? How did that happen? Ugh. Hey, didn't she, didn't she have some kind of conniption in the girls' locker room a couple weeks ago? I thought her mother would forbid her. Her mother. Apparently the Whites are somewhat religious, so does Tommy like her or... Is this just some kind of a good deed? Does he feel sorry for her? How is yes, I know this discussion isn't newsworthy, Myra. At least not headline news. Maybe the gossip column. But listen, hear me out. Tina Blake let me have a look at the nominees for King and Queen of the... That's confidential. I know, it's supposed to be top secret. How'd you get it? How did I get it? Well, I have my ways. And I paid her $5. Here's what I found out, and this does not leave the room, boys and girls. Here's the nominees. George and Frida, not going to win, not a chance. Peter and Myra, smattering of applause. Good for you, Myra. This contest insults women. Frank and Jessica, I guess that makes sense. Don and Helen, no. But then the last one, Tommy and Sue. Ooh. So, since Tommy dumped Sue, or vice versa, I don't know, since Sue is not going, that means that if Carrie goes with Tommy Ross instead of Sue, then Carrie is officially nominated for Queen of the Prom, which means that Carrie White could possibly become the prom queen. Now think of the headlines if that happens. From prude to princess. Or from quiet to queenly, or I don't know, from religious freak to super freak. We'll work out the details if it happens, but start brainstorming, just in case. Something good, tasteful, not too mean, maybe a little bit mean, but not too mean, which reminds me, we were thinking about, if you remember, of doing an expose on the pros and cons of bullying. We never got around to it, we're probably not going to get to, but I do have a record of pranks, specifically pranks that have been played on Carrie White going all the way back to elementary school. Henry, you remember back at Barker Street Grammar? Oh, yeah. We would see graffiti all over the desks and the bathroom walls. Carrie White eats, I shouldn't really say it, mixed company. Carrie White eats poop. You know, S-H-I-T. That It was gross. Kind of funny, but mostly gross. And then there was a one time, do you remember at Christian Youth Camp, the girls practically drowned her in the lake, dunking her back and forth? I remember that. I wasn't there, but it would be good to get Christine Hargensen's perspective on this. Maybe we could interview her and, um, or at least talk to some of the people in her gang. What's, what are they calling it again? Mortimer Snurds? Named after the dummy, which makes perfect sense. Oh, and speaking of Chris, everybody, she's still suspended, right? Right, and they took her prom ticket away. Hey, Beak, did you get anything about her her dad, um, about the lawsuit that was possibly going to happen against the school? According to Miss Fish, there was quite a ruckus in the principal's office. A real showdown between Grail and Chris's dad. Still working on it. Just wondering if there's any follow-up. Still working on it. Nothing so far? Nothing so far. Well, keep your ears open. 
So like I said, prom's going to be the big story, but what else do we got? What else is newsworthy around here? Oh, there's Beak politely raising his hand like we're in class or something. Beak, what? Oh, you wanted to talk about the police blotter that you sent me. Two pigs killed by trespassers on Irving Hinting's farm. Culprits still at large. Not exactly grade A material there, Beak. I, I, it's not very classy. Who really cares about this except for the pigs, of course? I'm sure they were upset. Unless I was a student. What? You, who? Billy. Billy Nolan? Well, that could make sense. Billy Nolan? Ugh. But what proof do you have? More oh, it's in your notes. Uh, 61 Biscayne spotted driving from the location of the farm. That's Billy's car. Okay. Suspicious, not really evidence. But isn't um isn't Billy sleeping around with Chris Harginson now? Yeah. It does seem like something hinky's there for sure. But you know what? Let's just wait till after this weekend and we'll see if we can dig up anything else. Don't want Chris's dad to sue us, right? <laughs> All right, back on track, people. Prom. Photos. Henry, please tell me you took some photos of the mural. I heard that George Chismar outdid himself. That kid's a whiz with a paintbrush. He's going to make us famous. All right, you developed them already. Nice work. Looks great. Did you take these from... Where'd you take these from? Up in the rafters? That's a good angle. That's that's good. It's very artsy. I, now this one looks like you almost tripped. And what's that... Um, What's that in the corner of this one? No, no, not not the gondola. Up the, in the in the rafter. You see how you got the corner of the rafters there? Looks like there's like two buckets. Hmm. Must be confetti. Okay, everyone. Well, I'm sure prom is going to be a fun, magical night. You know, regular teenage wonderland. So I'm going to take today. I'm going to write up some usual copy. You know, just sort of a puff piece. And then we can fill in the blanks later if anything you know, out of the ordinary happens. All right, that's it. If you're going to the dance, have a blast. See you there. Bye.